case sensitivity and case insensitivity are two terms you would hear and see a lot in programming languages. Now, what do these terms even mean? Let's look at the word case. Case refers to later casing, which includes upper cases and lower cases. Now, let's look at the word sensitive. Sensitive means something confidential, something with protection, or you can say something that has restrictions. Now, how does the word sensitive apply to cases? When you apply case sensitivity to a string, it means that such string can only be equal to another string with the same characters if both strings are in the same case. But when you apply case insensitivity to a string, it means that such string can be equal to another string with the same characters without having to be in the same case. Now in programming languages or tools, the behavior of case sensitivity differs. One language may allow you to type a command in any case, for example, a delete command, you can use it like delete all in lowercase or you can use it as delete with the T in uppercase, but another language may have strict casing when using commands. For example, a delete command needs to be used as delete all in lower cases. Using it with mixed cases, some of them upper, some of them lower, it would throw an error. Let's quickly look at a JavaScript example just to explain the concept of cases. Now in JavaScript, variable names are case sensitive, which means if I have a variable like this, variable name, if I want to use this same variable, it has to be in the same case. Variable in lowercase, uppercase n, lowercase a, n, e. If I come here, I run this file, you see everything works. If I change this a here, which is in lowercase to uppercase, and I run this, see, we get an error. Variable name is not defined. The reason for this error is that this is not equal to this. So if I'm trying to do this, JavaScript assumes I'm talking about something else. So let's say I have another variable called variable with capital A, then BLE, capital N, AME. Now if I run this file, it works because this is not equal to this. They may have the same characters, but these two variables are different because they have different cases. In some other programming language, maybe you can use the cases differently. That's why I mentioned that different programming languages have their rules for what is case sensitive and what is case insensitive. But common places you would find case sensitivity used in programming languages are user passwords, IDs or keys, variable names, and a lot more. In such cases, being strict with the cases helps you avoid a lot of errors. So I hope you've learned something from this video. When you see the term case sensitivity and case insensitivity used in any programming language that you're working on, this is the concept. There is strictness on the character casing for two strings to be equal. That's in the case of case sensitivity. In the case of case insensitivity, as long as the characters are the same, the casing doesn't matter. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, subscribe, and also share.